I don't know what the abilities for these guys do just yet. I mean, I just sort of like go with it, but um, all right. We learned a little bit more about the game today, so that's good. And we leveled Petrov up even more, so we unlocked some more skill points, which we can spend on some other good stuff. So let's see what we can buy. We can buy no idle hands now, which will make it so that our, our units level up a little bit faster, or we can get farsighted. So now, um, I think we'll make the first stone legion here, uh, led by Petrov, more or less a little, a little uh, scouting detachment. So I think I'll go with Farsighted here, and that'll open up a uh, spare quiver, which will allow us to carry some more items. I don't believe we have any items right now, but I think that'll be really rather nice. I think this entire orange uh, section is mainly just governor um, traits and stuff and such like that. Um, or no, it's like miscellaneous abilities, but I think that'll be that. So, we'll get this army, and let's see what we can do to just sort of harass the, uh, the enemies over here, the orange people, I suppose. Um, I, I believe these people over here, the, the sky bluish color, is, uh, is currently friendly to, or, or no, they're neutral to us. So, hopefully there's no issues coming from them. They'll just buzz around here. Just gonna make sure that they're neutral and they didn't make a huge mistake right now. They are they're currently at a period of cold war. So it looks like inside this period. Um Huh. So it looks like you like oh this is actually kinda unique. In in the Cold War period um, you can't attack each other inside your own zones, but you can just sort of fight, like, little battles in neutral areas and stuff and such like that. So, hmm. That's kind of neat. Now, they have three guys, and they have some of these necro droid things. These guys are actually, they're flying units too, so we can't hit them with melee units, I'd imagine. And they seem to be pretty, uh, pretty up there, so, hmm. They'll buzz around, and our guys will just continue to explore here and there. I think I'll actually get our guys to check out these rune areas. And that'll give us another quest. Build a new city within within a new region within 15 turns. We might actually do that one, just because um, I have a feeling that we will need to expand very soon. And there's nothing over here. So, yeah, um, I'm really under the impression that building into... Anorak, Anorak is, a, is a good idea, so maybe we'll see that in a bit. Currently what I want to do is that I want to strike a blow at this orange faction, just so that we can hopefully slow them down a bit. I was under the impression that you can actually kill off these assimilated towns of your enemies, but it doesn't look like it, so I think I'll just wander about here, maybe we'll just try to um, blockade his city like he's doing to ours. And perfect, Rookery is done. So I'm actually going to switch research. I'm, I, I really want to max out a whole bunch of the Tech 1 ones before we do Tech 2s, and I want to do Advanced Alloys over here. So that'll unlock weapons um, made of titanium or glass steel, which will be kind of useful. I think we have, uh, or no, we have adamantium. Never mind. In that case, we need to find out what he uses adamantium because we, we should be able to make a few things out of it. Or perhaps, uh, yeah, it looks like it's actually a tier 3, so it's really rare um, of a resource. So in that case, I think I'll, I think I'll just do this one. Um, and this one will allow us to make treaties, which will be nice. So we'll do uh, uh, diplomats, mints. And currently, let's check out a few marketplace things. So, at the marketplace, I believe we can buy heroes and some other good stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we can... Oh, we can also purchase units, I want to say. Units, stockpiles, luxuries. Yeah, we can purchase a lot of things inside this um, resource uh, or marketplace here. So, um, let's see how this works. So, you have your levels and all of the stats for your units here. It looks like there's a... Uh, there's like. I don't know, maybe they don't have enough heroes inside the game just yet, but oh, but um, it looks like these guys, you can just sort of buy them as it is. They will they'll, they'll have a cost associated with them, of course, and once that happens... Huh, that's really neat. 
and oh, they also have a little price counter for them too. Um, you know what? I think I'll buy one of these guys. I think I'll buy this guy. This guy does, uh, he has a last stand. He gives a bonus for armies. Um, one guy boosts science, the other guy boosts industry. But we have exclusive access to the guy who does science here. Um, you know what? I think I'll buy the person who does uh, science because it's more fitting for our faction. He has a little bit more health. So yeah, we'll buy them. Um, it's going to cost us quite a bit of... Uh, cash, but that's alright, and I believe he'll just appear soon, um, somewhere around here, in there. Ah, I see, he's in, he is, Academy. Yeah, now we can, uh, assign him to something, so we can assign him to a city, or a town, so I think I'll do Army, and we'll just assign him to Iron Legion. So, um, there we go. And I believe the first Iron Legion is the, the people scouting over here, actually, so maybe uh, maybe not. Actually, I think I'll get first uh, Iron to bring a settler unit to colonize, or, yeah, colonize this area. And we'll really continue like that. Ah, and I see I've found their town. Looks about the same size as ours. We'll siege it, make them, um, make them suffer for, for their attacks on us, I suppose. And currently, I want to get our guys that scouting unit. Now, one thing that I dislike about the game right now is that you can't... Like, when you when you get the troops to bail out of the town, to de-garrison it, I suppose would be the word, um, you, you can't just automatically assign them to a troop, or at least it doesn't seem like it. You had to move them out, and you had to move them back in, which is a little bit problematic. But, hey, um, I suppose it works, so it's not that bad. I think I'll get one person to work in productivity now. Let's just see how much that gives us. That'll give us, uh... Yeah, because the town, I, I don't I don't want the town to expand too slowly, but I think what I'll do right now is that I'll put everybody in the production of production. I'll buy a marine and I'll buy a seed storage, which will allow us... The, and, and the seed storage will allow us to generate much more food, so I think we'll try that. Actually, I think I'll move one guy back here just so that we have a positive amount of food. And end the turn. There we go. So, it doesn't look like they have any troops near their uh, capital over here. I, I imagine that this is their capital. They might have multiple towns. Oh, actually, I think they... Is, do they? No, they don't. This is my mistake. This, this little orange border here isn't a regional border. Alright, so that's good. Ah. And they've decided to siege us, so counter-siege. Fair enough. Um, in that case, let's see. I want our guys to come back inside the town. And we are going to get some more troops here, so that's good. I think I'll actually buy one of those Vine Snake units, because currently this is just... just counter-sieging each other. Yeah, I suppose the game is in, like, this early game info, uh, like uh, phase where it's more or less just um, passive aggression I, is, would be the word for it, I, I don't know. Um, you know what, I'm gonna try this out, like, I'm gonna save the game right here. So we're gonna do LP 2.5, or 25 I suppose, because I can't put periods. Um, I'm just gonna attack them, like, yeah, this, this doesn't look like there's much defending here. I mean, it's, it's kind of cheesy, I know, to do this, but, um, let, let's see what they can bring. So yeah, it looks like they have a garrison of just two militia stalwart units, and we're gonna see whether or not we can just take this location. I haven't fought a siege battle inside this game yet, I've been more or less just looking into the troops and, and stuff and such like that, so I, I want to see whether or not this will just sort of win the battle like such. Now, oh, yes! They're gonna use his uh, swirl attack, which will hopefully hit everybody. And there you go! It actually hit the, the guys over here wor way worse than it hit over here. Huh. Yeah, these vine snake units are really, really useful, huh? That is just one really, really deadly uh, shot right there. 
I think they only have three units, so maybe that's that. Yeah, they're, they're on higher ground. That's kind of why they have those little green arrows. I, I forgot to talk about those. So that, that it looks like it'll finish that battle here. Um, let's see what it says. Ah, uh, just, it, just, it just tells us they finished a, a battle, so I believe they're still present inside the game. Where is my diplomatic stuff? I can't see these messages very well. Yeah, they're still in the game, but they are uh, kind of ruined. I'm gonna see whether or not we can just try to strike a peace treaty with them, and no, it looks like they are... that's gonna cost us a whole bunch of influence that we just don't have. So we'll cap the city, and it looks like the city has been producing dust, a whole bunch of dust, because, I mean, it makes sense. They, they, they are a race that relies on dust heavily, so I think I'll let them continue doing that. Um, just for now, and it looks like their city is also in a pretty good location, got some enchanted forests everywhere, lots of science production, so this is actually a really good town for us to migrate in here. I think I'll just get um, some people to do to do like a small change like that, and I'll get them to build a garrison of troops for themselves. So that'll be done in 12 turns, which isn't that big of a deal. Now, um, over here at our place, those are really, really deadly uh, rider units. I mean, they have just a ton of them, too. Um, I think I'll get my main army to move back. I mean, even if they do retake this area, it wouldn't really be that big of a deal in my books because we've we've still dealt them quite a bit of damage and um, they, they definitely would have lost a few turns of production and stuff and such like that. Oh, oh that actually destroyed their faction, huh? Oh, I see. They they have a turn to um to try to retake their keep, but uh, it looks like yeah that is pretty much it for them. In that case, we can go back to colonizing. And um like guys, just I'm I'm not particularly sure about how intelligent the AI is inside this game. Um, it is early access right now, and I do believe one of the bulletins that they have is that the AI is pretty basic right now. So, um, and, and then again, I mean, we're mainly just here to explore the game, so it's not that big of a deal. But it uh, it, it, it might be an issue with the, the fact that we might just be able to roll through all of the factions. Um, I'm just going to continue over here. I see two of these minor faction keeps these Sisters of Mercies as uh, little huts here, and I want to assimilate them into our faction right now. So I want to get Petrov over there to do her thing. And that should just involve clicking on that location. Now this village has already been pacified is what it tells me. But it's it's orange though. It's been pacified by the orange people, which is kind of weird. Um, hmm. So now, in theory, I do believe that the map area just to the south of us is pretty much just all secured. So I'm thinking, would it be better to... Oh, uh-oh, that is a little too close. I'm thinking whether or not it'd be better just to sort of capitalize on this area and pacify the the, the, Kansi, the, the village over here and nab those um, those wizard uh, stones, or would it be better to get that um, blue titanium... Um, or, yeah, titanium deposit, or titanium deposit. And yeah, as, as the game sort of goes on, these minor factions will actually turn out in a similar fashion like the uh, the Civilization Barbarians, where they'll, they'll just sort of attack everything nearby them, um, which isn't exactly something that I want to happen. So I think what I'll do is that I'll get the settlers to... Hmm. So lake here as well. I think I'll get them to found a town up over here near the lake, um, mainly because it looks like this area is fairly well secured. We're out, we're no, actually, I think I found one over here, because that area is fairly close to our capital, so then we can levy uh, support really fast. I'm trying to figure out where would be the good locations to put this town where uh, our guys would be secure, but, um, but also good in productivity and stuff like that. Um, 
I'm going to check this thing here again. So these guys are currently at a war with us, which is kind of odd. Why do these people keep on? Why do these people keep on fighting us? They, they know they're going to lose. So I think we'll just do another battle here. Finish off this one necro unit, and we'll just let the game do its uh, deployment. This should be really, really fast. And it looks like these units, the main thing about them is that they're flying. They don't have any special abilities or capacities, so I guess their main thing is that only ranged units can hit them regularly. Yeah, we're not even going to have time to test whether or not our uh, vine snakes can hit them. But that'll finish that battle and that'll give us a ton of experience, which is good. And I think that'll be the end of that turn, pretty much. And yet, yeah, now we're starting to gain some of this um, um, titanium titanium stuff over here because they have one extractor like that. Well, we are actually going to have to fight a battle against a uh, wandering group of beasts over here. And these guys, I, I believe these things are pretty deadly. So yeah, we have our, uh, our B team over here, like settlers and stuff. Um, I do believe our troops eventually show up. Yeah, we have both of our heroes here, so I do believe our re like our troops will just gradually show up to this battlefield, even though so so different armies on the map can't support each other. Now our guys are just gonna nick these um, daemon things. They have an intimidation aura, uh, aura apparently. They don't seem to be that high up in health. I mean, they're comparable with our marines, but because they're flying, yeah, they can move around really rather fast here. And there we go, my troops are starting to show up. Oh, I see, they show up in the, in, like, if you guys have noticed, the turns don't, the, the turns don't play out as one segment. It looks like everybody can, there's like two mini turns in, in one larger, you know, controllable turn is what I'm, I'm seeing right here. And it looks like, yeah, the troops, the hydras and stuff that we have here, or uh, whatever these things are called, they show up inside the second half of the turn. So we can't issue orders is the main thing about it. But that goes to... Like, those things I thought would have been much more of a challenge than they had actually posed, so I'm a little bit, uh... glad at that, I suppose. And yeah, that'll demolish those guys. We can get our guys moving forwards now, and I think I'll handle that, uh... that one unit over here as well, Vine Snakes. And I think we'll just let the battle uh, occur naturally like that, so we won't have to waste any time fighting it. And... oh! We have some uh, Justicier units here. Those will be interesting to fight. And again, I, I, I prob yeah, I'm just probably just going to fight these guys and level up um, Petrov's troops over here. Now, this battle might be a little bit more difficult because we haven't seen these units before. They appear to be uh, melee guys, have some sort of debuff, or, uh, so they also have some sort of um, aura ability, so that'll be kind of neat. And I think we'll do... Uh, deployment like that. So I want to get these vine snakes into uh, the enemy. In location. Can I, can I queue movements? Because I want to move them so that whenever they attack they can hit all of the guys over there. Ah, and Petrov is starting to become a real hero unit, just absolutely doing a ton of damage. Perfect. This will set up for some nice attacks. Oh no, we didn't even get to uh, see the vine snakes attack. It's a little disappointing. That'll get rid of another group of barbarians, and that, of course, will let us level this person up. Or no. Uh, oh, I see. The, the experience points have uh, gone up considerably, so now uh, we can level up this person, though. This person's really good at uh, city governing, city governing, so I think I'll continue leveling that up. And I just found a city right here on top of all of these tiles. Um, or actually, you know, I really want to incorporate all of these specialty uh, things like the foundations and all that stuff, but 
Um, I think the best idea would be to find a town in the middle of these areas, though. Um, I'm just gonna go with this because it's much... I think it's much better. So yeah, we'll find a town. And we'll actually assign... Um, Rill Kata the second. Looks like he has like a little machine gun or, or something there, but we're gonna assign him to govern this town, which will, I believe,